Hello guys, welcome back to my um, Dito series, and today we are going to be creating blocking. So first, let me add in the animations, blocking. Let's add in the IDs. Okay, now let's add in a local script. Actually, let's just use this. Combat remote. And let's make a new remote in duplicated storage. Block event. Let's make a new variable. We'll call block remote equals game dot replica storage for child block event. If key dot user input type equals to an dot user input type dot actually no dot key code. The key code equals anim key code equals equals anim dot key code dot f. I'm going to make the key f. Then block remote fire server. And let's do the same for input ended. If um, you stop pressing the key F, then lock mode player server. And let's add in a boolean true and a false. Block server local remote equals game dot epic storage dot block event block remote dot answer for event connect function the player and blocking if blocking then else we have two parameters here so when you press F the parameter the blocking parameter would be true and if you let go of f the blocking parameter would be false it's not in the first parameter since there is a default parameter called player now let's add in the animations let's first we need to make a character variable we'll get a character local humanoid equals character dot humanoid And the animations, let's put the animations block animations maybe. Google B equals humanoid load animation game dot replica storage dot block anims dot blocking. If blocking then let's cut this and put this in if blocking and let's play it play because we don't have access to the blocking animation we need to um, loop through all the animations that the humor is playing by using for i animation or a in pages humanoid get playing animation tracks like animation tracks do it gets all the animations that are playing if a um, equals equals blocking then a stop it's got playing animation and animations infinite yield Let's see if this works. I'm blocking. Huh. Let's try a dot name. Okay, it works now. This way of stopping the blocking animation is very inefficient. So let's make a new function for stopping animations. Stop animation a and humanoid, which is h for i v in pairs each get playing animation animation tracks do if v dot v dot name equals equals a then b stop stop animation 
the humanoid which is the humanoid and the animation which is um blocking so this should so this looks cleaner okay now let's add an attribute for the character let's do character set attribute blocking true and let's do character set attribute blocking nil Now in the combat server, inside of the fit service, we're going to check if the character is blocking or not. First, let's add in a new, um, let's add in a new property or a new parameter called third break. If not guard break, guard break then we are going to check if the character is blocking or not if the human rate that we're hitting is blocking or not him if him get attribute oculus mega no variable or go b or blocking or some get attribute blocking we're checking if the human rate that we're hitting has a blocking attribute or not if blocking then return now if not dot break then if guard break then let's do the same thing here but if it's blocking then we're going to guard break let's make a new function to stop animations let's copy this and I think there is a better way to do this by making the variable here local blocking equals my get attribute blocking. Now we can just check if the character is blocking or not. If blocking, then return and if blocking, then we are going to add in um, a new animation called card pick animation but we, would, we need if the character is blocking and the card pick is true we are going to stop the animation stop animation the humanoid the hum and blocking we also want to play a new animation that animation being card pick local card pick equals game equals um humanoid load animation game dot replicated storage dot block anims anim start lock break break and let's play it card break play honestly let's just make a new function for this so it's cleaner um cat block or or just um b card break if not card break then the humanoid h 
let's copy this paste it here h h h card break and then let's just put in a put in a and let's put this inside of here let's name this b check or bc b check We check the guard break parameter and the humanoid parameter hue. Now in combat server, we're going to make it so that the first hit, um, the first four hits do not guard break. False. This is the parameter which is the guard break parameter. And for the last hit, we're going to set it to true. Now we're going to add an attribute called blocking in this dummy boolean blocking dummy. I'm going to make it a little better soon or maybe next time. I'm going to script this dummy maybe for the animations and stuff. And let's also remove the blocking attribute inside of inside of the um, card break under the parent set attribute blocking no to remove the attribute let's see if this works Let's see if I get the attribute block unblock block unblock block unblock. Let's check the blocking dummy. Keep blocking. Huh. Oh it's supposed to be H dot parent, my bad. The character, not the human right. Okay. If not guard break, then print not guard break. And if blocking then print Dummy is blocking. Let's also return end here. Okay, fix it. Let's see if this works. You know what? I'm just gonna try and put this here and see if that solves the issue. Okay, it got picks and let's see. It. Yep, I can punch it now. But let's stun the dummy when it's got broken. Let's remove this print. Stun handler. Stun humanoid. Let's stun it for three seconds. Blocking dummy. One, two, three, four, five. Stunned. Well, this is it for this video. I've made blocking in this video. The next video will be maybe about replacing attributes with tables or running. I don't know. So, thanks for watching and see you later.